This is YFN 103YCA-S. The auto ultrasonic closed-end cutting machine by Computer Control for number 7 nylon zipper. Now we are going to test this machine and teach you how to operate this machine. First of all, please make sure the air pressure is around 5 kilo. Okay, once the air pressure is okay, and please switch on the machine's power. And please put the zipper into the machine according to this direction. This is the bottom stop sign. This is the top stop sign, okay? And please put the zipper into the machine according to this direction. And please make sure the zipper is stopping around this position and you can release the wheel to press the zipper and make sure the zipper goes through like this way. So once everything is okay, and please touch the screen. And you can see this machine has a special function. There's a one cutting or double cutting, okay? So now we choose the one cutting. So if you choose the one cutting, it just use the bottom stop position only to cut the balance cutting. So we are going to cut the balance cutting. If you press the double cutting, you need to use the second cutting lens for bottom stop position and second cutting lens also need to use. And you also need to take out this zipper pressing device. Okay, so now we are going to test the one cutting and reset the production quantity. We are going to test for the 30 pieces and when we press the start, machine will be auto running. This is the balance cutting, okay, both sides are balanced. Okay, we we'll finished the order and please press reset button to finish the order. And now we are going to test for the double cutting. So double cutting only cuts, I mean, button stop side, there's no any lens. So you need to take out this device, the zipper pressing device. So for double cutting, this device must be taken out. It's very important. Okay, double cutting. So we are going to cut for 20 pieces. Okay, and then you will see the machine to cut two times to take out the extra part of the bottom stop side. Right, so we are going to cut now. And you can see cut two times. And the bottom stop side has no any extra lens. Okay, top stop side has. Okay, we finished the order and please press reset button to finish the order. So as you can see, it cuts the extra part of the button stop side and you need to cut very close to the button stop. So the zipper pressing device, 
you need to take it out. Okay, for the for the standard cutting, for the one cutting, you need to put it back. This one is a bolt uh, knife to cut on the slider. And there's a setting. The welding delay time is a cut during the cutting. The welding time we set up the 12 millisecond. The cooling delay time we set up the 10. And brush is controlling this brush. The belt is controlling this belt. For the password is A008, enter. And you can see the low level password is 6686, high level password is A008, and there's a low level setting. The start delay time we set up 5 milliseconds. And the machine has two speed. The high speed setting we set up the 5000, and slow speed we set up the 3000. Okay, normally, please do not change this data. Okay. If you change this data, the button stop position will be changed and also second cutting length will be changed. The gap induction of the zipper delay time is above the wrong signal node. So when the sensor fill the gap and delay 3 milliseconds, keep the PLC signal node to avoid the wrong cutting. And for the PLC programming, this is the PLC program number. If machine PLC has a problem, you need to change the PLC, you need to inform us this program number. And this is a step motor setting. If this light is flashing, it means the step motor controller is damaged, need to replace. And for the ultrasonic control box, now we use the 70% output. Okay, when you when you switch this button, you can move to here and press, and you can adjust the output. The maximum is hundred percent. Okay, and when you press for one second, you will jump out. And next, okay, this is the welding time. We use the current mode. Okay, not time mode. We use the current mode. If you press and press and you can move to welding time we set up the 0.5 millisecond is the maximum second normally this one do not need to change anything okay just for your reference so you can press you can press the button to go back to the main screen okay the main screen you just need to adjust the lamp the lamp is the power output only okay and this is the power this is the frequency, okay? Normally, the frequency should be 14.9 to 14.75 during this period, okay? So, we finished the machinery testing.